there. Good morning. Haircut. It was time. This is Belluno. I just spent the past four days here, mostly working, catching up with my uh, latest videos from Greece. But I'm now heading further into the Dolomites, the Italian Alps. From here, I will be catching a bus in just a few minutes, heading for Calalzo. And then there I change a bus and go to Cortina, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful places in the Italian Dolomites. So that should be really spectacular. A uh, nice and cheap bus ride. It's like five euros for the whole thing. An hour to Calalzo and then another hour to Cortina d'Ampezzo. So here we go. Alright, so this is Calalzo, where I have to change buses. There's one coming in 15 minutes or so. However, I wanted to uh, take a look at Calalzo because it looks pretty cool. There is a lake, but there's a problem, which is that it is up and over this hill, it looks like. And I got all this stuff, including a bunch of food, basically because I was planning to rent a car in Belluno, drive around for five days a week or so, and then drop it off in Bolzano or Trento or maybe even Milan or something, but I could not find a car in Belluno. And so uh, I did the bus thing, and then now I'm walking with all this stuff. I was hoping that there would be a locker at the bus station, but there is no bus station, it's just a stop. So I guess I'm just going to wander up this way and uh, see how it goes. Huh. So that sign says Calalzo, three kilometers. That's two miles. I don't want to walk two miles with all this stuff. So uh, what to do, what to do. So, change of plans, I'm just going to uh, catch the next bus to Cortina, get there, be able to drop off the stuff and then explore properly instead of trying to do this with uh, way too much stuff here. Partly the reason that I have all this food is because I thought that I was going to rent the car and uh, just chuck it in the car. So, uh, get up there. I have a hotel booked for three nights. Maybe I can do a day trip down here or on my way back or something like that because it looked really nice. The uh, town spread along the lake there. So uh, I'm going to munch on some lunch here and then uh, get to Cortina.
time's gone When well, I'm hurting now But I won't be hurting long Look at this. Absolute heaven. Cortina. Lots of hikers around here. About a kilometer walk away to my hotel. Looks like some explorer. He has binoculars and a pickaxe. El General Antonio Cantore. So maybe he was a general and an explorer. So you can see on that building, Cortina d'Ampezzo is the full name. And here you can see Belluno, where I came from, Venezia, Venice, Dobiaccio, Bolzano, Oronzo, Missorina. And look up there, ski slopes. Not going to be doing any skiing this time. Look at those just dramatic mountains. Can't wait to get even higher up. Not a bad view. Look at that. Smack in the Dolomites now. So a room tour, it is not cheap. 97 euros, including all taxes, or $115 US per night. Small, no fridge, but uh, nice room anyways. Very clean and uh, functional. Looks like a good shower. I've had bad luck with showers in uh, my past two hotel rooms. Very hard to take a shower, they're like too small. And So uh, people often ask me, how do I book my uh, hotels and do I book them in advance? No, I definitely do not book uh, hotels in advance. I book them very last minute. So I booked this one yesterday. Generally, I book my uh, hotel rooms or wherever I end up staying the day before I'm planning to arrive. Sometimes maybe a day or two earlier, but uh, also sometimes the same day and I am traveling there and then just last minute, like on the bus or whatever, then I look on my phone and uh, find a place to stay because my plans are very spontaneous. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be able to get to where I'm trying to go or where I'm going to end up. Sometimes I'm taking buses and uh, not exactly sure, you know, what's going to be my final destination or ferries and maybe the uh, weather's going to be bad and the ferries canceled or whatever. So oftentimes I am keeping things very uh, open. And so yesterday I looked on Airbnb because I do check Airbnb sometimes, but I am often disappointed for various reasons. So this was literally the cheapest thing in the area. There were only like three hotels right in Cortina here and then others further out. You can see there are tons of hotels. So I'm not really sure. Obviously these are not all full up. I mean, there's tons of them. There are not many people around. There are lots of rooms here. But uh, I guess not everything is available on uh, Booking.com or various uh, other online sites or I don't know. But uh, there wasn't much available. Everything was, uh, you know, what I paid or higher. And so I looked on Airbnb. There was only one thing available on Airbnb right in the uh, valley here. And it was $119 US per night. This one is $115. However, the $119 was the base price, not including all of the extra fees. And that is one of my issues with Airbnb is oftentimes the uh, prices get so jacked up once you factor in all the uh, various fees that it is usually more expensive than hotels. I mean, obviously it varies and you can find good deals on there. I've used it uh, sometimes in the past, but uh, the total price for the Airbnb, which was like a very basic looking apartment, was going to be $530 for the three days. I booked this for three days. It was almost $200 more expensive for the three days, but uh, you know, we're up in the Alps in absolute mountain paradise here. 
And so things are not gonna be cheap. I also looked at hostelworld.com, no hostels. And so don't expect your Italian Alps vacation to be cheap, unless maybe you're camping. That is a, a good option for sure. So uh, anyways, let's get out of here and uh, go explore these mountains. I'm just going to uh, do some sort of a little hike today and then do some more uh, intense ones in the coming days. So it's a couple of hours later. I'm looking for a uh, place to walk or hike. And looking on the map then, it looked like there was a ski slope back up here. I might see it there. So I thought that I would just walk this way for now, see what I find, and in the coming days then I'll find some more official hiking trails. It is about uh, 5.30, still warmish, but uh, not hot. And one thing that I will mention that I have in my backpack here that is always in my backpack is a rain jacket. It is always there. And that is something very important to have up in the Alps, even if it is a perfectly sunny day. As I showed in my previous video, got caught in a rainstorm grocery shopping down in Belluno coming back to my hotel so it could rain anytime the weather changes quickly and so uh, you want to have at least just that rain jacket and then that will save your butt from uh, getting wet and chilled out man these views are just incredible I can see a uh, gondola it looks like going all the way up to the top of that there's some wires at least. If that's a gondola, then uh, gotta take that. And I love these homes, or maybe a uh, bed and breakfast. Which way to go? I guess, uh, Up the hill. A classic mountain lodge here. It's really big. And a strange little tower here. Some kind of, uh, I guess like a electrical building. All right, this uh, road is going in the right direction. Although I think uh, it will end and then hopefully I can get on some uh, trails. Not looking for any kind of a major hike right now, but it'd be nice to get some more views. I think that's going to happen. And look at this, some tiles. Look at that funny little, like, delivery truck. Gotta watch out for those, them Sasquatches, Bigfoots, Yetis. And the road, ciao, keeps on going, sort of. I actually saw a car just going up here. it is going into the trees so this uh, road goes somewhere
Loving that mountain breeze. Little creek down there. That's what the bridge is going over. Kind of crazy that that car went up this. I do see a building up here. A couple of buildings. And check it out, the building is the top of a ski lift. By the way, a quick shout out to Adrenaline Addiction. He has a, a YouTube channel, a guy named Chase. He does all these crazy uh, stunts jumping off cliffs and buildings, base jumping and wingsuiting and parachuting and stuff. This is his merch here. Pretty crazy guy, but uh, pretty impressive as well. And those are snowmaking machines for when the slopes are starting to uh, melt, but still snow left. And so they blow snow, man-made snow on the uh, slopes to make them, you know, more skiable, extend the uh, season a little bit. Look at this, we got a vehicle, a couple of them all the way up here and another ski lift. There we go, an elevation, awesome. 1,437 meters, that's right around uh, 5,000 feet. So that is not very high. I thought we would be higher up than that. Not sure of the elevation of these guys, but uh, I don't know, maybe 10,000 feet or something. What is this? Huh, not uh, clear. Cortina Fashion Weekend Night. It is a small building. All right, let's just get a little bit further up here, since we can. Speaking of impressive, not an easy place to run, especially going this way. Ciao. This looks like a good place to take a break. And what is this exactly? I guess a, like, warming hut. A little place to uh, stop when you're skiing. And uh, maybe there would be like hot chocolate and snacks or something inside there. A stove, warm up, or sit outside. Nice view. Some glaciers. We saw some snakes near the stream. Do not allow children to play close to the water. Okay. Something else that is always in my backpack Aqua water. It is very tempting to keep going uphill. The trail keeps on going from here and get some uh, even closer views of those higher peaks, but it is cooling down. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to uh, walk back down the hill here. So we got some animals, not exactly wild. Hey guys.
Back in town, the weather has changed. Wind has picked up. It has gotten chillier. It's about 7.30. Time for a hot shower and a hot meal. And look what happened after I got back to the room. Good thing I didn't try to hike further up the mountain. It's going to be a wet walk to a restaurant. A very wet walk. I just checked a restaurant right there. Main courses were like 25, 30 euros, more than 30 bucks. Hoping to find something more affordable. A restaurant down there, Rastua, and another one over here, Groda Cafe, Restaurante Bar Pizzeria. Looks like it might be a little cheaper.